Hello Gemini, welcome to an in-depth tarot reading. This is very similar to the 411 readings I used to do here not too long ago. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection at this time. What are the energies between you and this person? Anything that you need to know, challenges, hidden factors about the situation, and what can you expect in the near future? We're going to be covering all of that. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, Gemini. Uh, because these readings will not resonate with every Gemini watching. Also, don't forget to check out the description box. I have a link to a playlist specifically for Gemini readings. So if you want to see more readings um, for your sign, check that out. If I could shuffle, that'd be great. All right, so let's jump right in for Gemini. Spirit angels, guides. What do we need to know? Spirit angels, guides. What do we need to know for Gemini regarding love? What can Gemini expect in love? For Gemini. Okay, the current situation, we have the Six of Pentacles. I'm going to clarify most of these. The Eight of Cups and the Fool. Wow. Uh, the Eight of Cups is about a departure and the Fool is about a new beginning. So right away, I'm thinking that maybe someone's leaving a situation to have a new beginning or someone that left a connection is maybe trying to have a new beginning again because the six of pentacles is here which is about balancing things out okay what do we need to know about this situation any challenges hidden factors strength leo energy and the ten of pentacles courage strength hmm. okay what are your energies the four of cups the Four of Swords. Oh, Gemini. I feel like you're a little checked out. Can I get one more for Gemini? Seven of Swords. Things are happening that you don't see or that you're not aware of. With the Seven of Swords. I'm also getting that it's been hard to find someone you can trust. Maybe you're not trusting of others right now. Maybe you've maybe dealt with people recently that you realize you can't trust or something like that what about your person two of wands knight of swords ten of wands okay i feel like this person has something to tell you knight of swords but i also feel like they've been carrying some sort of burden um when i have like the ten of wands with a card about communication i almost feel like I can interpret that as someone that is unburdening themselves, like they have something to get off their chest. Okay, what is the potential outcome for the near future? Nine of Wands, King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, and the Ten of Cups. Well, right away, Gemini, there is no major, well, the Fool is the only major arcana in this entire spread. And typically that means that there are no major shifts in energy happening. Either something's continuing from the recent past, that's like day-to-day -day actions, decisions, etc. Um, or things are kind of moving along slowly until they, there's a major shift. Um, we'll have to see when we clarify what else we got. But the Ten of Cups is here. Uh, that's beautiful. Uh, happy endings. I feel like someone here, the King of Cups, could be you, could be them. Um, there's emotions tied here. I feel like there's emotional fulfillment on the way, Gemini. Like you're going to be very happy with whatever happens. Sorry, that was my dog, Leon, in the background. But the Nine of Wands tells me it's not going to be easy. I feel like someone might be even worried that this is too good to be true. We'll see. Bottom of the deck and overall energy. The two of pentacles, juggling, uh, dealing with multiple things at once, figuring things out, weighing options, etc. So I feel like the overall energy here with the two of pentacles is telling me there could be a lot going on. And I feel it's behind the scenes. Maybe someone has a, a decision to make and it could be your person because they have the two of wands. But, you know, Gemini, I saw the four of cups and the four of swords here. I feel like someone's like, bored dissatisfied not happy you know there's there's a i don't know it's like it's like you might be emotionally just spent or 
not much is going on to interest you. I also feel like if some of you have been dating, the people you've been dating are not good enough in your eyes or you're just not interested. Um, maybe you feel like, oh, they're just not people that you want to really dedicate your time to or invest in. Let's get some more energies out here, Spirit. Tell me more about what's going on for Gemini in love. What do we need to know for Gemini? What do we need to know about the energies in love? Burdened heart. Yeah, I feel like this could be your person. They have the Ten of Wands. What else do we need to know for Gemini? What else do we need? <gasps> Falling leaves. Time changes everything. Changes transition time. I feel like whatever's going on here, whoever this is, whether this is somebody that you've dealt with in the past or if this is someone new coming in, um, I feel like there's a lot going on. And whatever's going on over time, someone's mind is changing or someone's making different decisions or someone's going through a transition. Tell me more for Gemini. What's going on for Gemini? In love, spirit. What's going on for Gemini? In love. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Gemini? Okay, that's way too much. I'll take this one. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Interesting. So this could be you. This could be your person. Maybe someone from the past needs to be let go of in order to invite someone else in. Maybe one of you is recently single. Bottom of the deck, past life relationship. You have known each other before. So I feel like this is someone from your past perhaps, or someone that you have a connection with from the past or past life connection that you might be dealing with here, Gemini. Again, I don't see anything here that tells me that someone specifically from your past. So let's get to clarifying. Can we get some clarity, please, for Gemini? We have three tens on the board, and tens are all about completion, cycles ending, things coming to a close. So I feel like there's something here shifting for someone. Okay, let's start with this Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Let me move this a little bit more so you can see the energies up there. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here, Spirit, for Gemini? Four of Wands. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Balance, Harmony. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? The Home. Yeah, the World. There's, there's definitely a new cycle happening here, but it's starting, I feel, with a decision or someone's weighing their options here. This could also be um, a choice that someone's making regarding what their future might be like because the world is all about a new cycle. So it's like thinking ahead, you know, a cycle's closing, but a new one is beginning. Bottom of the deck, the lovers, there you are, Gemini. Can I get one more for this two of pentacles? What do we need to know about this two of pentacles? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like someone's making a choice because maybe things aren't working out where they're at. Maybe they're struggling. Maybe they're needing help or needing support. Maybe they're financial difficulties that someone's experiencing. And I feel like there's a lot going on for whoever this is. This could be you or your person, Gemini. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. But this is the overall energy for love, for whatever's happening here, this situation. Um, so I feel like someone has a decision to make regarding the future. And there's a two of wands at the bottom of the deck and your person has a two of wands as well. So this could be your person choosing this path. 
So let's go through the current situation. Eight of Cups, the Fool, Six of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this is like bringing something into balance, an equal give and take, giving you something. Why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like there could have been an issue here. It could be small, something small, like maybe you've met someone new and you don't trust them. Or maybe you had a situation with a past person and there's like wariness there, a guarded energy. Can I get one more please for the Six of Pentacles? The Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like you have someone's, you've, you've caught someone's eye or someone's thinking about you. There's the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. But there's like a distance too. It's like this person, when they see you, they're very attracted to you. They're very drawn to you, but there's a barrier for them. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Four of Cups. Yeah, someone's walking away from what no longer interests them, what no longer serves them. Tell me about the Fool. Why is the Fool here? The Three of Pentacles, building something new, working on something new, a new career, building a foundation. Tell me more about the Fool. Wow, the Tower. Yeah, there's, there's the common theme here about a new beginning, a new cycle. I feel it's starting with the Tower. Something happened that someone's walking away from. This could be you, Gemini. And this could be interpreted in so many different ways. For example, you could have quit your job recently and you're starting a new job and you might meet someone there. Or your person is in a situation they don't want to be in anymore. The tower happened and they're starting something new. For some reason, this involves you. Oops. Do not want to turn out. I do not want my pride pot to fall down. That would not be good. Okay. Tell me about the fool. Tell me more about the fool. Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. This could be some sort of information, communication here with the Tower and the Queen of Swords. Usually when I see the Tower with like a card that is like an Ace of Swords or a communication card, I think of like something that comes to light or something that's spoken, something that's communicated, something that someone finds out. This has led someone to have a tower moment and there's a ten of wands again your person has a ten of wands so i'm starting to think that this is something your person is going through but of course you can flip the energy um if it resonates for you because this is a general reading so this is very interesting i feel like someone's burdened by this tower there's a lot going on because of this tower so let's find out down here this could be the challenges insight Hidden factors, what you need to know, the strength card and the ten of pentacles. Oh, strength is also a major arcana. I forgot to mention that. All right, spirit, tell me about strength. Tell me about strength. Leo energy. King of swords. Tell me about the ten of pentacles. Why is the ten of pentacles here? Why is the ten of pentacles here? Two of Cups and Ace of Cups. Wow. You know, <laughs> I feel like this Ten of Pentacles is like this Ten of Cups over here. It's a goal. Someone's thinking about future happiness, being with their Two of Cups, having love, having a Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, long-term stability, long-term happiness. Someone's thinking about this. Because this is kind of the clarifying energy, what you need to know about the current situation. And remember, someone's walking away. And usually when you walk away from something, it's for a purpose. I feel like someone's walking away because they're thinking about their future and they're want, they want their future to look like this. And with the King of Swords, Queen of Swords here, these two energies, these are people that cannot lie to themselves or to others. The truth matters. Facts matter. They are able to set up healthy boundaries. They're able to cut out anything that's in their way. I feel like someone's having the courage to cut out what's in their way here with strength. To have this Ace of Cups, Ten of Two of Cups. 
But Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck is telling me this isn't easy for someone to do. I feel like they're still going to do it, though. All right, so let's look at your energies. Tell me about the Four of Cups and the Four of Swords. Why is the Four of Cups here with the Four of Swords? Why is the Four of Cups here with the Four of Swords? Nine of Swords. Worries, anxiety, stress, sleepless nights. Maybe you're not sleeping well, Gemini. Maybe you're worried about your future in love or your love prospects or maybe you're thinking of someone else. Tell me about the Four of Cups, Four of Swords. Five of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're thinking about someone that you've had a problem with or someone that, a connection that maybe had problems. This could have been a long-term connection, a short-term connection, it doesn't matter. I feel like there was drama there, conflict. And I, I think it's still, whether this is something that happened recently or in the distant past, is still kind of affecting you. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Someone could have deceived you. Someone could have proven themselves untrustworthy. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Page of Cups. Okay, so someone could be wanting to apologize to you for what's happened here. But maybe you don't believe them. Maybe you are working on yourself, on healing yourself, on thinking past what happened and you don't really want to listen to this person. I feel like whoever this is, there might be a reason why you can't fully trust them. And again, Gemini, I can't tell you if this is a past person or a new person. Like, I feel like I'm reading for both groups of Gemini right now because I don't see anything here that tells me for sure. But I feel like someone wants to apologize to you or vice versa. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Let's jump down to your person here. Tell me about the Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? What's this Two of Wands about? Remember, this is a choice that someone's making, a path they're choosing. The Hangman and the Temperance card. Okay, so Sagittarius energy with Temperance. When I see these two cards together, I think time. Taking time. Uh, stuck energy, stagnant energy, hesitant energy. This is somebody that's not really moving quickly. Um, things are needing to work themselves out here or things need to kind of work together to make something happen. I feel like your person is taking their time making this decision. Maybe they're waiting for things to resolve themselves in order to make this decision. Maybe they're waiting for a confirmation, a message, or maybe they are thinking about what path to take and it involves this Knight of Swords. Let's see. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Why is the Knight of Swords here? judgment wow eight of swords four of swords yeah whoever this is there's a lot of like hesitant energy and i feel it's because of fear i think someone whatever this knight of swords is about if it's a, a message to you or a message they're waiting on it's a big thing with judgment i feel like this is somebody that maybe they're having realizations about something um there's a ton of cups at the bottom of the deck page of swords Okay, and the Page of Pentacles. So I feel like this is somebody that maybe they need to communicate something to you with judgment. Now judgment is about looking at the past with new eyes. It's about realizations, awakenings. It's about resurrection, second chances, etc., etc., etc. After judgment is the world. So I feel like when I see all these things together, I feel like this is someone that's afraid to make a judgment call perhaps. And that judgment call has something to do with communication with Knight of Swords, some sort of truth. I think this person is slowed down by this 10 of wands here. Tell me about the 10 of wands. Tell me about the 10 of wands. Why is the 10 of wands here? For Gemini. Page of Pentacles, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel like this is somebody that, yeah, there's the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Eight of Pentacles. So 
Page of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, this is an opportunity. This is something that someone takes their time to do. An offer of some sort that takes time to get to you, Gemini, but it's a solid offer. I think this person is waiting to address this Ten of Wands, this burden, obligation, responsibility. Whatever's weighing on them or weighing them down, I think they want to address this first. Or fix something to do with this because the Six of Pentacles is here. I don't know. I feel like this person, maybe right now there's so much going on in their life. But at the same time, they're thinking of the future and the future involves you. So it's almost like, let me, I'm getting this energy of, let me take care of things. Temperance, the hangman. Maybe they're stuck in a situation with the eight of swords. It's interesting because I feel like if they want to talk to you, if they want to send you a message, they're hesitating. Even though that's exactly what they want to do. King of Wands. What's this King of Wands want? What does this King of Wands want, Spirit? What Gemini? This one. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, they're the ones that want this over here. Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. That's what they want. That's, that's why this involves you. I feel like there's an outside situation that you're not involved in. Specifically, Gemini that this person needs to like address can I get one energy for this person can I get one energy please for this person that Gemini is has or will be dealing with spirit what do we need to know about this person's energies towards Gemini at this time I'm not giving up. Yeah, I feel like this person is dealing with a situation where they need strength and courage. I feel like they're also, and they need strength and courage because anybody else would be too bogged down, too afraid. Tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why is this Eight of Swords here? Yeah, two of swords. So this is somebody that needs to make a judgment call. It's a final decision. And they're undecided or there's a just a decision is very important here. Two of pentacles, two of wands, two of swords. And then there's the lovers at the bottom of the jack, Gemini. There you are. I feel this decision involves you. Whether this is someone new to your life, someone that you already know, someone returning. I feel like they're deciding what to do about you. But there's still an obstacle here with the Ten of Wands that I'm not getting a lot of clarity on. I might have to extend this and get some clarity there. Um, let's look at the potential outcome. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. Tell me about the Nine of Wands. What do we need to know? There's the Lovers again. And the Nine of Cups. Okay, so someone getting what they want, which again... Reminds me of this energy here. Tell me about the King of Cups. Tell me about the King of Cups. Knight of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so this King of Cups is interested in you. I can tell you that much. They have something to share with the Knight of Cups, some sort of expression. And that reminds me of the Page of Cups here. It's like they have some something to get off their chest or something to admit regarding their feelings maybe an apology king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn energy this person keeps showing up as like kings at least when it comes to like when it comes to you and to what they want they come up as kings but everything else is kind of like pages, nights, in terms of what they want to do or what they can do, I feel. So, for example, they want it all. They want the Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. But right now, what they can actually give you is a Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles, if that makes sense. 
Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Move this down. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What it will, okay. There's the Ten of Wands again and the Strength card. Being very strong, Leo energy with strength, carrying a heavy load. This person, I feel like there's courage tied to dropping this burden. Whatever this burden is, someone needs to be very strong to, to like deal with it, to face it, to address it. I think this person, that's why I'm not giving up is here because it's a big hurdle this person has to overcome in order to have this 10 of cups with you. But it sounds or seems like they're willing to do that. They're willing to do what it takes. Let me get one more energy. Spirit, can we get one more energy, please, for Gemini? What do we need to know about this connection? Lovers, wow, number 15. Oh yeah, there's definitely something happening here, Gemini, between you and another person. Whether you're single or waiting for someone to return or dealing with someone right now, there's something going on. There's something in the works. And this Knight of Cups, this Knight of Swords, this Page of Cups energy, I feel like there's someone that's interested in you, thinking about you, wanting to be with you. They just have to overcome whatever this tower represents. And as long as they become free, they can have this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles with you. As long as they can take this risk with the Fool and start something new, they can have what they want with you. I'm feeling like I'm missing quite a bit because, of course, this is a general reading. So it's not like I can really get into specifics here. Um, but I can tell you that whatever this, whoever this person is, I think you're meant to be together with the lovers. Two of Cups is here as well. This could be a soulmate coming into your life. Um, and they're not giving up whatever situation they're facing they're going to overcome it and they're going to be with you that's the energy i'm picking up here thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this in-depth reading if you did don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you all in another video very soon take care